So we're back in Athens. Uh, you can see the Acropolis, Southern Wall here, and the Parthenon to have a look at early theatres. Now, we have here an example of an early stage of the theatre of Dionysius in Athens, which is made of wood. Now, this is um, quite a typical uh, theatre for the time. The first thing we need to notice, which is absolutely typical of Greek theatres, is that they exploit the landscape. So, as you can see, there's a slope coming down here on both sides and the theater rests on it. The area where the spectators are seated is built on a ground that is already sloping by itself. There is no structure supporting uh, this seating area. That's a very important uh, thing to acknowledge for uh, Greek theatres, because this is the main difference between Greek theatres and Roman theatres afterwards. The Greeks did not have the technology um, to sustain a seating area that big. Now, the second thing is that this is an early theatre. It's uh, made of wood, uh, because early theatres, as we've seen, are temporary structures raised uh, for specific festivals during um, religious celebrations. Uh, this is a very important thing. Uh, the theater for most of the, of the time during the year would not be used. It's not like theaters nowadays where you have shows running all year round or like cinemas. So when there is the festival, the city invests in building a theater of uh, a makeshift theater huh, of uh, temporary uh, structures and perishable materials like wood here. The third thing we have to notice is the shape of the theater that is still um, starting from sort of rectangular shape uh, with uh, angular uh, elements and only later it becomes um, the famous and known theaters uh, with the semicircular structure. Uh, uh, <coughs> what we can see quite clearly is the difference between the seating area here, so what in the Roman theater is called a cavea and in the Greek theater is the koilon and the staircase that leads up and down to the theater. Uh, the climax, plural climaces. You can see how the people are seated and how the structure is based on wood uh, beams. Um, the area where uh, music players are and the dancers, blame dancers, is the orchestra. And as you can see, it's not a very regular shape. It's not half a circle or a circle. Um, as it will be later circle. Huh? Um, that's again typical of early theatres. Um, another thing is to notice is the altar. Huh? Remember the theatre is a religious structure used during uh, um, performances for festivals in honour of the gods. So the, the altar where the sacrifices are made is a very important part of every theatre. And then behind here, again, makeshift structure is uh, the proscanion where we are standing with the actors and the skene behind. Now, the skene normally has one, two, and three doors for the actors to come in and come out, and sometimes actors would uh, pop out uh, from the top. Yes. Now, there should be like a sort of staircase, but I can uh, act from the top here. And there would be machineries for um, the actors to fly or uh, to create certain uh, special effects. Uh, the fact is that um, Proscanion and Scene are normally uh, later uh, additions to theaters. Uh, uh, the very important part is actually the orchestra and the koilon. So from the early theater of Dionysius, that's all. We move now 
to another theater. And we teleported to the sanctuary of Delphi. Um, we can see perhaps the temple behind us. If we move, it's very important uh, building for all of the Greeks. Uh, but we want to have a look at the theater. Now, I am now running in the orchestra, which is, as you can see, a circular space. Uh, despite the name orchestra, it was not for the musicians, it was for the uh, choir singing and also for the actors. Huh? We have here another wooden um, proscanion, sort of skinny behind, uh, but as you can see, it's a very temporary, not important element of the architecture. The important element is the orchestra and the seating area, no? the cavea uh, or coilon. Now, as you can see, um, we have a first row of seatings made of marble, um, which we would normally call prohedria, and these are for the VIP, for the important guests. Huh? You see in Roman theaters, uh, there would be 14 rows of seatings um, for uh, the senators, um, the upper class of the, Egyptian, of the Roman society. Um, if we look up, we have the climaces, so the staircases leading the people to their seating area, but we also have this uh, pathway across the coilon, um, which is the diazoma. Huh? So we can actually navigate pretty well up and down uh, following uh, the climaces and if needed the diazoma in order to reach our seating could be up here. No? Now the idea of a semi-circular or actually more than half a circle huh? um, coilon is that all spectators at any place, at any time, would be able to look down and focus on what's going on in the orchestra, right? The architecture of the building itself is um, somehow pushing you no? to focus, sit and look down what's going on there. Um, could be high up here. All places more or less are afforded some sort of visibility um, view, um, but uh, obviously if you are in the center you get the best, uh, the best view uh, for the action. The acoustics is another important feature. Now we have seen the wooden theater, um, a theater that has this shape is um, a shape that um, really invites um, the sound to propagate uh, in a regular manner. So anyone seated anywhere in the coilon could be reached by the voice and the music uh, played down in the orchestra. At the same time, this space, this um, shape for a theater allows for a larger number of people to be seated. Huh? It um, it's saves space uh, rather than a rectangular or um, an angular theater like the one we've seen before. And from the theater of Delphi, that's all about Greek theaters. Thanks for listening. <laughs>